In this video, I'm going to create a page that has links to other pages. I'm going to do this with a table of photographs and descriptions. I'm going to begin by inserting a table that has three rows and two columns. I'm setting it to 90% of the available width. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK and that will put a table in here. Now I can change my table settings by clicking on table because I generally like my table to be centered. Okay, And then I'm going to put thumbnail images that I created in Photoshop. And these I also like to be centered and I can select all three of those table cells and change the horizontal value to center and then I will drag my images in and I have dogs one small Eli and Nessie with ball you never need to say this is a picture of you just put the description of what the picture is and I have my dogs too small and typically I'll put my images in first Eli and Nessie and then dogs three small Eli and Nessie run away let's see why it's doing that. I'm going to go into split view oops nope that refreshed it sometimes you have to refresh it to get things to show up correctly now you can resize your cell width here and then you could put in a description. Now for descriptions I like my vertical text to be set up to the top. So I'm just going to say Eli and Nessie playing with, playing with a ball. Eli and Nessie at the farm and Eli and Nessie running away. Obviously I could and should type a much better description but the key here is that I want to show you how to create links to my new pages and I've created a page for each of the larger photos. So let's go back to my dogs page and I can click on my photo here and I can put a link in here and there's several ways to do this. I could just type in dogs1.html which is the name of the page. I could open the folder and go to my site and go to this one's dogs2.html and I can use this point to file and just point to the site. So those are three ways to link. We could also put in text links dogs page one dogs page two and dogs page three. So text links work exactly the same way. Highlight your text, make sure you're in the HTML portion, the properties, dogs1.html. We can look through the file folder, view for our link, dogs2, or we can drag our pointer to dogs3. Now to make this more useful you can if you wish choose to have something open in a blank page which will open it in a new tab. I'm going to open the text links in a new tab and I want to show you how this changes your navigation. But in any case we have links to the three pages I've created. I'm going to save all 
and then I'm going to preview this in Firefox. And when I preview, you'll see that it changes to a pointing hand that tells you that it's clickable. And that will open to the Eli and Nessie page. To be more useful, I should have a back link here that would take me back, but you can always use the back button. Now if I open it into a new page, then the back button is disabled. I don't always like that. I generally think it's better and that one worked, but this one didn't. So let's go see what happened. Something must have went wrong on that one. You should always, always, always test these as soon as you've done, you're done because it's very easy. And see, this one didn't stick. So that should be dogs two open, and it's still there. And I'm just going to go right to preview in browser. This time we'll try Opera. I always do a different one each time. And it'll take it a second because I haven't used Opera since I downloaded it. So you're going to see that it should pretty much work the same way in Opera and Safari in Firefox. It's thinking about it. Let's try preview in browser and let's do Chrome. Okay, so I'm getting the pointing hand, so they should each work. And again, if I'm just having it open, that keeps the back button working. If I open in a new page, that brings it up here, but it breaks the back button. So you have a couple of cho choices both for creating your links and where they open.